What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Again today we have more WWE Elite figure images as well as some basics that I want to show you guys. We got brand new images up all over the place and they look incredible. We got some WrestleMania Elites. We got some new prototype images and uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get started right here guys. You can see we have a look at the brand new Pete Dunne Elite and this is the prototype as you can see. Um, this is why it's all discolored and stuff. But look at that head scan. Look at the detail in this thing. I cannot wait for this. I think this is going to be one of the best figures of the year, hands down. I know a lot of people are excited about this Pete Dunne figure. I can't wait to get it. Obviously, the Bruiserweight Pete Dunne looking great. I'm pretty sure it comes with the UK Championship as well. Um, this this thing looks incredible, and um, I, I cannot wait for this. So we do have prototype images of Pete Dunne. We also have prototype images of the brand new top talents, Finn Balor, as you can see right here, guys. It's sort of similar picture as you saw with the AJ Styles that we got um, maybe a few days ago. And um, in this picture, for some reason to me, it looks like he has the Daniel Bryan torso. And if that is true, if that is the Daniel Bryan torso, this will crush me. Um, hopefully, it's not the Daniel Bryan torso. I hope it's the... You you know, ringside exclusive ripped up torso because it's a, if it's not, it's going to really hurt me. This, it's going to crush me because then I'll have to, it won't do any good to pick this figure up and make a bunch of Balor customs. But uh, hopefully that is uh, not the Daniel Bryan torso. At least um, this could be an either an early prototype or I could just be seeing things and this isn't uh, a Daniel Bryan torso underneath this jacket. But uh, here is the top talents fa uh, Finn Balor. And now we're going to move on to the Elite 63 Shelton Benjamin. As you can see, this is the current Shelton Benjamin. I don't think this is the variant. I believe the variant is supposed to be his gold standard attire from 2008, 2009. So I don't think that this is the variant. This is his current Elite. This is going to be the more common one, as you can see. I think the arms are a bit jacked, but this figure looks great. I can't wait to get it. Um, if anything, maybe the head scan may be a little bit eh. It's not the greatest head scan ever for Shelton Benjamin, but I still enjoy the figure. I'm a huge Shelton Benjamin fan, and uh, this figure looks great. I'm just happy to get an elite Shelton Benjamin officially, and I will definitely be picking this thing up. I'll probably grab a few for customs and so forth, and I can't wait to see what his gold standard variant looks like. That will be a very good treat to me. Um, next up, we do have WrestleMania Elites, guys. We got the first one right here. It is Sasha Banks. We have the WrestleMania 32 Eddie Guerrero inspired attire from Sasha Banks. As you can see, the packaging looks great on these figures. I love the black, gold, and red on these packaging. Um, you can see she's going to come with a little stand. The WrestleMania 32 Women's Raw Championship, you know, it did make its debut at that event. And uh, this figure looks great. You know, it was going to be a part of the WWE Shop Exclusive 3 pack with Lita. And uh, I think it was going to be Wendy, what's her face, and then Sasha Banks in that pack. I think this is an excellent figure. I'm glad that we're actually going to get this figure now. And uh, the next Elite we do have is The Undertaker, guys. I believe this is supposed to be from WrestleMania 33 or 34. I'm mistaken. I can't remember which one it's supposed to be. But it does look great. You know, this is that fix-up that everybody's made. You know, you take that one basic and you take his WrestleMania 32 Elite. You combine the two. And this is the figure you get. I actually have this exact figure on my shelf. Um, just the head scan's a little bit improved here. It looks like they use the true effects on this figure. And it looks great. I can't wait to get this. Um... I think this is probably one of the best Undertaker Elites, even though, you know, everybody pretty much has this already. It's still a really good figure, and I think a lot of people are going to grab it. I will be grabbing it just to do a comparison between the two figures. Next up, we do have a Triple H Elite from WrestleMania 19, and I am loving this. I love the pink slash purplish tights. You know, this is just like the Fan Central and the red tights, except that it is, is a match versus Booker T for the World Heavyweight Championship. Though that match was kind of disappointing, you know, Triple H pretty much just squashed Booker T and made it irrelevant after the, all that build and then he just destroyed him but uh you know it is what it is still love this figure still a massive Triple H fan one of my favorites of all time so I'll definitely be grabbing this and then we have a few basics right here guys we have a Matt Hardy Elias and Charlotte basic all of these are going to be Wrestlemania 35 basics you can see Matt Hardy Charlotte and Elias I believe this is all from Wrestlemania 34 so we all have current WrestleMania figures right here. So that's pretty cool. You got uh, Matt Hardy and his, you know, he won the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal in this attire. We got Elias in his yellow shirt. So it's a basic that comes with a shirt. It says this is going to be a WWE basic core series. So I don't know what core is supposed to mean, 
But uh, that Charlotte f uh, figure looks great, you know, with her match with Asuka, where she sh should have lost, but she ended up winning anyways. Um, and then I forgot, actually, we do have one more figure here. It is Scott Hall, guys. We got Scott Hall from WrestleMania 18, where he fought Stone Cold. Not a very good match, in my opinion. Um, I didn't really enjoy it that much, but this figure does look good. He's got his NWO attire rocking there, and he does have signature hands. I wish we'd get a too sweet hand sometime, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, but that pretty much does it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if we get any more images, some new images, I will be posting them up to you guys. But thank you so guys so very much for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. These figures look epic. We got Pete Dunne, Shelton Benjamin, WrestleMania Elites, and Basics, as well as the top talent Finn Balor, guys. I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.